With any audio that's recorded into a DAW, an element of noise will be brought in with it. This can come in from many different ways. The hiss and noise can come from the gear you're using, or it can be introduced from the environment, such as the room you're using or outside noise. And that's really where strip silence comes in handy. I have this vocal recording here in the song, and if you take a listen to it, you'll hear there's some low-level noise in there that's been picked up from the gear and the room. I said you wanted to. I said you needed to go out and raise your hands. I feel you want me to. I know I want you to. And now there's nothing to say. Double click this event to bring up the audio editor. And click it again to scale it to size. In these sections here, where it looks like there's silence, that's actually where the noise is sitting. It's sitting at a very low level. Click on the strip silence icon to bring up the strip silence toolbar panel. Under the material section, you have some presets you can use. You can either remove a little bit of silence, a lot of silence, or the noise floor. Or you can manually choose how much silence is removed. With these presets, the threshold has been set and cannot be changed. But you can go in and edit the pre-roll and post-roll and the fades. Click apply, and it removes the silence between the sections. If you zoom up, you'll see that auto fades have been placed on each event that's been cut up. But maybe you want more control. This will be where you go in and do it manually. Undo the changes here. And under material, choose manual. Here, you can set the threshold yourself. Like in a previous tutorial, I mentioned under action you could go there and use strip silence. But when you did this, you didn't have much choice of what the threshold was. Here you can go in and customize the threshold for the noise level. So set the threshold to negative 30 dB. This is a good setting to keep it at. If you increase the track height here on the audio editor, on the left is a gain dB view. You can use this as a gauge as to what to set the threshold to. Now click apply and see what happens. This removes the silence sections where there may be noise. Zoom up to see the changes. The start of the event is determined by your pre-roll setting. If you cut this down to a finer setting and click apply, it may chop off sections of the audio that you may want. So you'll need to increase this, apply it, and see how this has affected the audio. Increase this slightly and click apply. And that's better. It doesn't cut off the beginning of the vocal part. And the same goes for the post-roll. If you reduce this too much, it could cut off sections that you may still want. So just tailor this to what you need for each audio section. And this works the same with the fades. You could have little to no fade at the beginning, but there'll be a very sharp transition between the silence and when it kicks into the event. I said you wanted to. This fade will just smooth out the transition from the silence to the audio event. I said you wanted to. And this works the same with the fade out. So use these parameters to tailor the strip silence to work for you and with the audio parts that you've recorded in. It works really well with recorded live drums where there's bleed from other mics. You can use the strip silence to remove some of the bleed, giving you cleaner tracks. And with the threshold, if too much is being cut out, maybe raise that threshold. And if there's too much noise, then drop the threshold. And don't underestimate these presets. They work very well. For example, this noise floor preset works really well at removing noise from live recordings, that real low level noise that sits there. So either jump for a preset or use the manual mode to dial it in yourself. That's how to use the strip silence function on your audio.